Okay, we are going to solve practice problem 8.1 from Sadiku book and this is the circuit and the question is the switch in the figure 8.4 this is the figure was open for a long time okay that is uh, our first clue here it was open for a long time this means that we have DC condition okay and DC conditions means that inductor become short circuit and a capacitor becomes open circuit and this happens when T is less than zero okay before we switch the switch on so we will have this condition okay so now we need to redraw the circuit according to this condition okay now i have redrawn the circuit with uh, the capacitor replaced by open circuit and the inductor replaced by short circuit and our switch is still open so I did not draw the switch so here is our circuit when T is less than 0 and we need to find out what is the value of I here and V here and remember that because our T is less than 0 this I and V will be V 0 from the left and I 0 from the left but remember the current in inductor and the voltage in capacitor cannot change instant instantaneously so we will have this one is equal to v0 from the right and this one is also i0 from the right which is the the value that we are looking for okay now we need to find i and v here and we can just apply kvl here so we will have that loop and at the loop let names this loop i so loop i we will have the sum of voltage will be zero so we will have this one we need to start from this voltage source so i will have minus 24 because the current is flowing for from negative to positive so i will have minus 24 and then plus 10i and then plus 2i and that will equal to zero and manipulating this we will have 10i plus 2i is 12i and i can move this 24 to the right hand side so i will have 24 and then i will have i is equal to 2 ampere and then we can simply conclude that i0 plus is equal to 2 ampere so this is the answer for A for this value and then what can we do next so we will have this one whoa what's that okay we will have the voltage here and we can use ohm's law add to ohm resistor okay so we'll have ohm's law add to ohm resistor so we will have V here V is equal to I multiplied by R and our R is 2 ohm and our I is 2 ampere so we'll have 2 by 2 and that will be 4 4 so we can conclude that V0 from the right is 4 volt so this is the second value that we are looking for and now 
we need to find out di when 0 over dt so okay let let's do that so this is an inductor so this one is passing through inductor and remember that the voltage in inductor v is equal to l di over dt so i will have So from this formula, we can derive that di when the times is 0 from the right over dt is equal to v. And remember that this is also when v is 0 plus from the right and then divided by the value of L. Okay, now the value of L, we know it, which is 0 0.4 Henry. So let's rewrite that. And V0 from the right. Okay, now V0 from the right is after the switch has been closed. So this will be short circuit. And the voltage here, the voltage here will be the same as this one at first. Okay. So at 0 plus, this voltage here will be the same as here. And this voltage here is 4 volt. But we need to find out that the value between the nodes of inductor here, between this node and this node. And this node it can be easily seen, which is 24 volt from the ground. Okay, let me just put this bottom node as our ground. So that will be 24 minus this one minus V and V is 4. So we'll have 24 minus 4 divided by 0 0.4. And so we will have 20 divided by 0 0.4. And this will be 50. And what is the unit? The unit is I0 plus is ampere and T is second. So our unit is ampere over second. So this is the answer for this problem. And now we need to find the next one, which is DV0 plus over DT. Okay, DV0 plus over DT and Again, we can derive from this one, which is I of 0 plus divided by the value of our capacitor. Okay. Okay, now the current that passed through this capacitor at 0 plus, it is just when the switch is closed and we know that uh, the current that pass through capacitor cannot change instantaneously so this will be still zero and our capacitor value is 1 over 20 so zero divided by anything is zero so I will have zero and the unit is voltage and this is second so I will have zero voltage over second and this is the answer for problem D. So let's put this in the box maybe. Yeah, this one is 50 and this one is 0. Okay, now we still need to answer question E and F, which is I when it is infinity and V when it is infinity. Okay, let's clean up this and let's continue. Okay, so now let's continue finding I when the time is infinity and V when the time is infinity. Okay, so when the time is infinity, we know that the switch is already closed. And because the time has gone for so long, we have another DC condition. So we will have at T is equal infinity. Our switch is in the 
close circuit position and then our inductor will be the same as short circuit and our capacitor will become open circuit and our 10 ohm resistor will be gone because this is shorted so the voltage in this node will be the same as this node and all the current will pass through here and we don't need to write this resistor anymore so our 10 ohm resistor is equal to short circuit okay now let's redraw the circuit based on this condition okay so now i have redrawn the circuit for this condition so we only have a voltage source and a 2 ohm resistor we have replaced this capacitor with open circuit and this inductor with short circuit and this resistor and this switch is closed so they are gone becomes a short circuit here and this is a simple circuit when we can directly get so V is here and this is the same as this voltage source so I will have V at this time which is infinity will be the same as the voltage source so I will have 24 volt. okay this is the answer for problem E and then for problem F we will have I of infinity we can just use Ohm's law here so that will be V divided by R so I will have that one is equal to 24 divided by 2 and so I will have I of infinity we will have 12 ampere okay so so far so good so we have answered all the question from practice problem 8.1 so this is for problem a this is for problem b this is for problem c problem d and this is for problem e and this is for problem f we have all the values done so i think that is a good place to see say goodbye to you all thank you let me know if i made any mistakes in the calculation thank you